Let's talk about Max Scherzer, and we all know that Jerry loves talking about the pitcher, so we got to get into this story. Everyone who has a TV or Twitter saw what went down with Scherzer on Wednesday as he was tossing the start against the Dodgers for apparently having too much stickiness from the rosin and sweat that qualified as a foreign substance, and as a result, he was suspended 10 games. David, as a fan, what was your reaction to this in real time? I mean, there's a lot going on there. Well, as a fan, I got upset for my player, right? I thought, well, maybe he because he's a he's a league rep, they they have it out against him, and he's a Hall of Fame pitcher. And I I don't get the impression from Max that that he's a cheater. His spin rate wasn't up that high, and so I got upset. Then I watched Baseball Night in New York, and I watched Jerry get upset, and I got more upset <laughs> because Jerry was upset. Uh, and so. Then I got a little less upset because I thought, well, maybe he broke the rules. Maybe put too much on. And then I learned there is no rule about how much you can put on. And then I don't know if you guys watched it last night. David Cohn did an incredible breakdown. Uh, Jerry, maybe you could speak to it. But he showed the process of what Max was legally allowed to do. And the ball stuck to his fingers within the within the rights of, of Major League Baseball. So uh, I'm I'm mad again. And I think it's one of those things that they're going to make it the Scherzer rule at some point and make this a precedent. But I'm I'm outraged. Thankfully, he's only missing a start against the Nationals. So, you know. Yeah, Jerry, let's get into that. Let's talk about how upset you were. <laughs> let's talk about that. I, I normally I try to stay pretty even keel, but that that got me. There's yeah. I, I want to address it kind of in reverse. Um, what David Cohn did uh, was amazing. Like he showed the process. I thought that was really good. Uh, if that's what Max Scherzer did to where the ball literally stuck to his hand, if that's what he did, that's cheating. And you should get in trouble for that. If that's how sticky his fingers were, then it's inarguable to me because that's the that's what you're trying to avoid. It's a competitive edge. But his the numbers, the, the, the data doesn't say that that's the truth. Max Scherzer, a man of his word, who I know personally, said that this isn't what he, he was doing. I just I have a really hard time understanding the ambiguity of the the rule itself. Mm -hmm. I understand that why it was made because pitchers were using spider tack and and yeah. and using it to gain an advantage against the hitters, but that's not what's happening because the, the spin rate is the advantage, right. and his spin rate wasn't crazy high. Um, to me, I, I have a, I have a biggest problem because. I came into the league in 07 was my first September and the baseball is the problem. The reason why the baseball, like the reason why guys started using any type of, of stick was because the baseball doesn't feel right in your hand. I had never thought about the baseball when I first got called up in 07 in September in Oakland, my whole life, I just grabbed the baseball and was like, Oh, this is a baseball and played catch and threw when I started playing catch the first time, the first time I, the ball was slipping out of my hands and I looked to my other pitchers. Like, I was like, what am I going to do in a panic? And they're like, it's okay. Little sunscreen, little rosin. You rub that the film off the baseball and then it feels like a baseball. So it's not even about competitive advantage. If they would have just addressed the problem of the baseball, we wouldn't have all this gray area of who decides what that's where I have the biggest issue because you say you're allowed this, but then there's there's right. this much, and then there's just uh, you leave it to the umpires to decide what is what. And that to me, that's not right. Make a make a good baseball, and we won't have to talk about this ever again. Yeah. And I don't want to talk about it anymore. Yeah. So I you, you you give the players the pitchers a, this much room for interpretation, and they're gonna do what it is. To they're gonna cheat. Players cheat. They try all the time. It's constantly mm -hmm. happening. Don't give them any wiggle room. Just say, this is the baseball. You put anything on your hand, it's right. cheating. And we're, we don't talk about Yeah, I think anymore. everyone's just looking for some clarity as far as that's concerned. Jerry, do you see Max changing anything to kind of avoid this situation from happening again? Or do you think it was kind of like wrong place, wrong time, wrong um? Um, I, I see. First of all, I'm not sure about – it probably was wrong place, wrong time, wrong up, wrong pitcher. Uh, I think there was a little bit of extracurriculars going on and why he was selected. But I do think he makes an adjustment. I do think he he's a team guy first. He wants to win. He understands that he put 
the Mets in a disadvantaged position because he's got to miss for a long time. Um, the bullpen came out and did great for him, but he doesn't like that feeling. I promise you, he won't put his team out there. He won't leave any chance. I don't think he'll ever be in that weird gray area again. And I think they they're just trying to set an example of Max, and he won't allow them to do that again. Yeah. And so, Brody, do you think it's good for Max to get some time off? And then when he comes back to the end of that Brave series, obviously he's dealing with the suspension. But is there any positive to come out of this? Well, I think the only positive is that he's, you know, he's up there in age. And any break he can get, I, I guess, gives him some rest. It's, it's, it's helpful. Uh, you know, some pitchers don't like a lot of rest. They come back and, and it's like they haven't pitched in, in three months. So I can't speak to Max specifically, but considering his age and if, if it gives him more, more in the tank at the end of the season, and again, he's missing a start against the Nationals, so I'm pretty sure even, even uh, David Peterson can handle that. So I think it's a good time. He's back, he's back for the Braves series. So yeah, I think it's, it's, it could have been a lot worse. It could have been a lot worse. Ooh.